Joining us now with his outlook for municipal bonds in the year ahead is Build America Mutual CEO, Sean McCarthy. Sean, it's great to have you back with us. Now, looking back, 2021 was a record year for muni bond volume. Can that continue into 2022? Well, thanks uh, for uh, having me on Asset TV today. And um, and I think that uh, it's going to be an exciting 2022. So if you think about last year, 2021 was uh, ended up uh, issuing about $450 billion worth of new issue. That was a record. Uh, for BAM, we insured uh, about $16 billion worth of uh, transactions, and that was also a record. Interestingly, more than two-thirds of that was uh, um, new money for infrastructure. And so when you look at what's going to happen in 22, 2022, I would say three things. First, I think it's going to be record volume in all probability. That's going to be driven second by the fact that there is um, – the infrastructure bill being passed, a lot of state and local governments will be issuing municipal bonds in order to get matching funds that are available from that particular bill. And third, there are a lot of things to fix and build, which uh, there was a little bit uh, slower uh, origination on that front going forward. So I'd say that this 2022 is going to offer quite an opportunity in the, in the new issue market. Now, is there enough investor demand to meet that supply, Sean? Uh, uh, yes, and so twofold. Um, uh, first, I'd say that there's strong demand and there are a lot of newish uh, investors coming into the market. Um, one thing you can remember is that municipal bonds themselves, their interest is tax exempt. Uh, if interest rate, if uh, tax, income tax rates go up, uh, the, the attractiveness uh, on a relative basis for municipal bonds and, in, and investing and such uh, increases. So I'd say that there's a growing a number of investors that are coming into the market. There are also um, international um, investors that are coming in on the taxable municipal front. So not all municipal bonds are tax exempt. And so we see that part growing quite, uh, quite dramatically as well. And when COVID first spread across the U.S. and the world, we saw a lot of bond ratings get downgraded. Now the tide has turned and there are more upgrades than downgrades. Are investors out of the woods? I think the woods are always changing. Um, if you think about what happened uh, when uh, uh, what I would call the first wave of COVID hit, um, most municipalities, their coffers were full from um, having had, you know, many years of a very strong performance. Um, so as COVID resolved itself and it looked uh, and, and you could see sort of light at the end of the tunnel, um, uh, it enabled uh, municipalities to sort of uh, draw down on their funds, but start to build them back up as their economies came back. Um, I think that you have to look at each credit, you know, as we do at BAM, one by one. Um, I'll give you an example. So, you know, uh, municipal credits that have uh, potential exposure to uh, commercial real estate or airport and transportation issues or convention center issues at the moment are all going to have, or, or a utilization that's sort of tax-based like a hotel tax. All those kinds of credits may or may not be out of the woods, depending upon what happens going forward. And I think it's really hard uh, at the at this juncture to to assess it on an on, on an overall basis. But I'd say that the good news is, um, you know, interest rates are are um, going up in some level. That's going to sort of make it more expensive on a relative basis for some municipalities to borrow money. Uh, it'll make it more attractive for investors to participate in the market. But but also um, with interest rates going up, it might have a dampening effect and inflation might have a dampening effect on the real estate market. And real estate values at the end of the day are um, a, lot, a key metric for a lot of municipal tax revenues. Finally, there's a lot of attention on ESG issues across all markets. How do you approach them in the muni market? So uh, we've felt for many years uh, that ESG is a is a fundamentally important aspect um, of the municipal market and, and its finance. And I think that Europe being a lead example of uh, taking green bonds as um, as something that they deemed important, and it started out as having a, a demand pull, meaning that investors said, "Well, are there green bonds available? I'd like to buy them if they are." To now that they actually they they are there's such a demand for them that they trade at um, a premium. So uh, 
I don't see that happening uh, in the near term in the municipal bond market. But what I do see happening is a number of either dedicated funds that have started or lots of inquiry on, on the basis of um, individual and investors that uh, work with uh, some of the bigger funds um, with a bias towards looking at these kinds of bonds. So sustainable water, um, efficient uh, clean energy uh, and renewable energy are all core green bond uh, issues. At BAM, we've had a Green Star um, guarantee that we um, provide as a free service to our members, bearing in mind that we're a mutual insurance company. So not only are we, we get bigger and stronger every year, but the, the thesis of what we do is to provide services to our members who are the municipalities that take our insurance. So, and, and, that, and those services benefit not only them, but the investors. This is a good case in, uh, in point. So if an issuer has a transaction that the proceeds of that issue are going to be used for a green bond purpose, we'll designate that and we'll put that as part of the write-up that we do on, on our guarantee and available, make that available to the market for free. We're one of the largest uh, uh, providers of green, star, uh, green bond uh, designations. In fact, last year, we did about $1.7 billion worth of those transactions in the market. So I think that's here to stay and probably one of the growth areas. Yeah, certainly seems like it is here to stay. Well, Sean, always great to have you. Thank you very much. I think it's going to be a great year for all, both municipal issuers and municipal bond investors. Thanks, Asset TV. Yes, great to have you. And thank you to everyone out there watching. Once again, that was Build America Mutual CEO, Sean McCarthy. I'm Jenna Dagenhart with Asset TV.